While walking in a fireman's parade in Mechanicsburg, Congressman Lou Barletta was approached by a volunteer firefighter. What they discussed eventually led to the IRS making an exception for volunteer emergency responders under the Affordable Care Act. After talking with that firefighter, Barletta reached out to the IRS because he was concerned under the Affordable Care Act they would view volunteer firefighters as full-time employees. And that may have forced the fire companies to provide health coverage he believes many of them can't afford or be fined. So Barletta drew up the Protecting Volunteer Firefighters and Emergency Responders Act that would ensure emergency services volunteers were not viewed as full-time employees under the employer mandate provision of the Affordable Care Act. Even though the IRS has created an exception for volunteer emergency responders, Barletta still feels that it's important that his bill gets passed on Tuesday night in the House of Representatives when it is put up for a vote. But just as easy as they made this ruling, uh, they can also come back and change it again, whether it be next year or the year after. And volunteer firefighters can't uh, have that uncertainty. Uh, they can't take the chance, and communities in our country can't take the chance uh, of closing firehouses. So there's nothing better than making it a law so that the IRS cannot come back at any other time and change their ruling. Just what will it need to pass tonight? Well, you know, this will be a little heavier lift uh, than, than normal. When a bill comes to the floor under the suspension of the rules, which it will, it means that we will need a two-third majority of the House to pass, not just a simple majority. So we'll need over 260 uh, votes. To, I think it will be 265 or 267. We will need to, uh, to pass the bill. So uh, it will need bipartisan support tonight. Debate on the Protecting Volunteer Firefighters and Emergency Responders Act started at around 4.30 today on Tuesday. The act was passed unanimously by the House Ways and Means Committee.